Okay, in this particular lesson, uh, what we're going to be looking at is something called non-permissible values. Um, it's based on the concept that in math, you are not allowed to divide by zero. You can divide by any number, but not zero. I'll just show you an example on my calculator. Uh, if I take any value, maybe 5, and divide it by zero, uh, you will see that I get a divide by zero error. So you are just not allowed to divide by zero. I could do that uh, with any value. I could do 552 divided by zero, and I'll get the same error. You cannot divide by zero. So essentially, uh, non-permissible values, so as a result of that, a non-permissible value is a value for the variable, or if there's more than one variable in the denominator, uh, variables, a value for the variables that result in a denominator of zero. Uh, we're just going to look at a whole bunch of examples as far as non-permissible values go, uh, and leave it at that. Uh, and on all these expressions, uh, what we'll find is there are non-permissible values. In this first expression, uh, 1 over x, well, x cannot be 0, because if x was 0, we would have a denominator of 0. So our non-permissible value uh, in this particular case is that x cannot be 0. Okay, uh, something that we've called it previously is restrictions. That's a restriction on the variables that it cannot be zero. Uh, in our next one, this binomial denominator of x minus two uh, has a non-permissible value of positive two. Uh, for those who would like to solve this algebraically, it's that this factor x minus two or this binomial cannot equal zero. So after we add two, we'll get that x cannot equal two, which is how we come up with that. Uh, in this next one, we have two factors or two, uh, yeah, two factors in our denominator. We have a factor of x and a factor of x minus 2, which is a combination of the previous two examples here, x and x minus 2. So it shouldn't be shocking to you that we have two uh, non-permissible values. x cannot equal 0, and also x cannot equal 2 two non-permissible values. Uh, for example, if x was 0, we would have 0 times 0 minus 2, and 0 times anything is 0. So that's why 0 would be a non-permissible value. Uh, let's move on to the next ones. In our next ones, we have a denominator. So non-permissible values are only related to our denominator, not our numerator. So this numerator of x minus 1 does not come into play for our non-permissible values. Uh, for this particular one, our non-permissible value for 7 times x is x just can't be 0, because 7 times 0 is 0. Or for those who are, or like their algebra, 7x can't equal 0. When you divide by 7, you get x can't equal 0. On our next denominator, uh, what we have is 2x plus 3. Well, our non-permissible value is for the binomial 2x plus 3 that can't equal 0. So after we subtract 3, we have 2x can't equal negative 3, and divide by 2, you will get that x cannot equal negative 3 halves. Uh, you do not have to show that work at all, um, but it is helpful for some. Uh, in this next one, we have a combination of both of those previous uh, denominators, so we'll have two non-permissible values. We'll have for 7x, x can't equal 0, and for 2x plus 3, we'll have that x can't equal negative 3 halves. Uh, and for our last non-permissible values, uh, it may be useful to picture this monomial 2m squared n. Uh, it has two variables, so we'll probably have two non-permissible values. Um, you may want to picture this as being 2 times m times n times n. So for each of these m factors, the non-permissible value for those is that m cannot equal 0 because 2 times 0 times 0 times n will be 0, and you can't divide by 0. And for this particular factor n, you'll have the same thing, that n cannot equal 0. So those are our two non-permissible values. Uh, in this next one, uh, you'll notice that there's a squared on the particular factor. That simply means 2n minus 5 squared means 2n minus 5 times 2n minus 5. But since that is the exact same factor, uh, what you'll notice is that there's only going to be one non-permissible value. So in, in each of those cases, the non-permissible value would be 5 halves. Or in other words, for those who like to show the work, that factor 2n minus 5 can't equal 0. So after you add 5 and divide by 2, you will get the fact that n can't equal 5 halves. Okay. And finally, a combination of the previous factors, if you want to write it out in extended form uh, or fully factored form, this denominator is the same as 2 times m times m times n times 2n minus 5 
times 2n minus 5. Uh, but what you'll notice is this is just a combination of the previous two examples. So uh, our non-permissible values will just be a combination of them. So for the m factors, m cannot equal 0. That's one non-permissible value. For the n factor, n cannot equal 0. That's another non-permissible value. And for the 2n minus 5 factors, we'll have that uh, n cannot equal 5 halves as our third and final non-permissible value.